Saskatoon Slice, Bygone Bakeries. Bakeries have always been an essential part of the city's palette. Explore a slice of Saskatoon history through photographs of bygone bakeries. Join local history in toasting this vital part of the city's past. Delivery wagons and staff line up in front of the Saskatoon Bread Company's offices and plant at 108 First Avenue North. The occasion was the 1913 Traveler's Day Parade, and the company's float proclaims, We Eat Cremo and Mother's Bread. The company was organized by John C. Thompson, C. Austin Needham, and Charles D. Sinclair. It opened on November 1, 1910. After an extensive trip through the United States and Eastern Canada, G.A. Golf returned and gave Saskatoon its first electric bakery in 1923. Located at 134 21st Street East, Golf's electric bakery was managed by prize-winning baker Frederick D. Kirkby in his first year of operation. Gulf's Gulf boasted that he was the first to give the people of Saskatoon the greatest delights in pastry, cakes, and bread. Everything he sold was made fresh daily and baked in the electric ovens at Gulf's Electric Bakery. Baking was done right in the shop in full view of the public. In March 1923, cherry cake was the featured special. Otto McCalman Higgins opened Daylight Electric Bakery in 1923 in the Western Hotel building. Some 80 products, ranging from Danish pastry to white bread, were turned out daily. Special kinds of milk breads, Christmas puddings and cake, French dainties and English delicacies were put through the ovens every 24 hours. In 1935, the baker would move across the street to 155 2nd Avenue South, where it would remain until 1955. In 1929, McGavins Limited of Edmonton purchased property on the northeast corner of 2nd Avenue and Queen Street to build a modern bakery involving an expenditure of more than $125,000. Completed in 1930, the new McGavin's Bakery building was rated as one of the most up-to-date bakeries in Canada. At the time, McGavin's Limited operated bakeries in Moose Jaw, Regina, Edmonton, Lethbridge, Vancouver, Victoria, Pasadena, and Denver. In the golden age of bakeries, Bread was delivered to all parts of the city by an efficient delivery system. The city bread routes were serviced by a fleet of horse-drawn delivery wagons and trucks. McGavin's delivery men lined up beside the technical collegiate look sharp in their company uniform and bow tie. The drivers are all men, but McGavin's did employ a woman driver. McGavin's Ladies on the Production Line package up cakes and buns in preparation for shipping. As one of the largest baking plants in town, McGavin's was also one of the largest employers. Workmen load McGavin's products onto a Canadian national delivery truck in 1947. When McGavin's opened its large new plant in 1930, the market area it served was not limited to Saskatoon. The company shipped to practically all the leading towns and villages in northern Saskatchewan. McGavin's bakery products, including cakes, donuts, breads and cookies, were sold in grocery and convenience stores throughout the province. Ed, Mike, and Stanley Sikorsky opened Brothers Bakery in 1935. Nestor Richard and his brother-in-law Jack Yasowick would take over the business in December 1937. 
This 1940 photograph shows the recently married Nestor Vachar, wife Doris, and friend George Boschuk of the independent grocery down the block. Located at 912 20th Street West, they would own and operate Brothers Bakery until 1951, and Nestor's Bakery from 1961 to 1971. Colby and Bert Polis before the closing of the Broadway Bakery in 1975. Hugo Jeppinger had opened the Broadway Bakery in 1933 in a rented location at 707 Broadway Avenue. By 1941, Hugo and Annie Jeppinger had moved the business and their home across the street to their own building at 708 Broadway Avenue. Brothers Bert and John Polis and their wives would take over the bakery in January 1959. Harry Boyenko, manager at Mother's Bakery, prepares long sausage rolls for baking. Mother's Bakery was opened in 1941 by Stanley Sikorsky at 238 Avenue I South. The business would move around the corner to 832 20th Street West in 1944. Harry and Fred Boyenko would take over the business in 1955 and operate it until 1979 when ownership would change. It's winter, 1913, and a delivery man for the Saskatoon Bread Company stands beside his bread wagon with a large wicker basket of bread. The photo was taken near Avenue A. The Temperance Hotel is visible in the distance. Charles Nash and Ernest Ross, who had operated at the downtown Central Bakery, purchased Home Bakery in Nutana in 1922 and combined the names to Home and Central Bakeries. In addition to the shown location at 722 Broadway Avenue, branches were located at 226 2nd Avenue South and 222 21st Street East. The Saskatoon Bread Company's delivery wagon in front of King Edward School on 25th Street East advertises Mother's Bread. Mother's Bread with the Saskatoon Bread Company's signature product. Its healthful and invigorating qualities were vaunted in the slogans, There's Health in It, and Mother's Bread is Better. Baker's helper, Anka Gasparovich, takes loaves of bread from the oven at the Express Bakery. Sometimes called the Honey Bunch Bakeries, the Express Bakery was located at 1202 3rd Avenue North. Baker's helper, Anka Gasparovich, takes Forex bread and cakes were baked by Canadian Bakeries Limited from their plant at 502 2nd Avenue North. The company had established a Saskatoon location in 1928. The firm's ovens had a capacity of 30,000 loaves per day. Eddie Hudson, a driver for the bakery, poses with Stella Mack, proprietress of Quick Lunch, and her brother and sister, next to the Roxy Theatre. The horses that drew the McGavin's delivery wagons were kept in stables erected next to the bakery. Fitted with modern equipment, the stables were steam heated and had an automatic fire alarm. By 1954, McGavin's was the only local firm still making deliveries of its products, and that year saw the last horse-drawn bread wagon. Baker Otto Tiemann pipes decorations on a batch of gingerbread men at the Golden Sheaf Bakery at 1014 Central Avenue. Prior to opening the Sutherland Bakery, Tiemann had operated the Mount Royal Bakery on 29th Street. In 1967, Tiemann partnered with Raleigh Reuter to open the second location in Sutherland. In 1977, the enterprise became Downey's Golden Sheaf Bakery, operated by John and Anne Downey.
Workers Irene Giannata and Irene Brooks prepare dough by hand at the Express Bakery on 33rd Street and 3rd Avenue North. Choi and Garma, Mike, of Christie's Mayfair Bakery, brushes an egg mixture to glaze pies about to be baked. The bakery was originally known as the Christie Brothers Bakery, after James, John, and Robert Christie. The brothers had previously worked for the Saskatoon Bread Company before opening their own bakery on 33rd Street in Mayfair in 1932. Lorette Dion of Christie's Mayfair Bakery displays a tray of doughnuts as well as other tasty treats produced by the bakery. Ennio and Janet Mussolini bought Christie's in 1966 and maintained it as a family-owned and operated business. Before Christie's, Ennio had worked as a baker at Pleasant Hill Bakery. Bread dough that has been prepared, weighed, and molded is placed in bread pans and readied for baking by Saskatoon Co-op Bakery employee Peter Stoichescu at the Co-op Bakery on 33rd Street in 1968. Jim Koistra feeds dough into the bread molding machine made by the Van Dyke Manufacturing Company. Designed for high volume and consistency, Saskatoon Co-op operated with the latest in bread technology. Everybody loves donuts, and Marie Hoykert makes sure they turn out just right. After a devastating fire in the downtown Co-op Centre in September 1969, operations were transferred to the 33rd Street and 8th Street locations. Master cake decorator John Wilma puts the finishing touches on a series of birthday cakes at the Saskatoon Co-op Centre's bakery on 33rd Street. He apprenticed as a baker at Model Bakery, then worked at the National Systems of Baking before joining the Co-op in 1966. Young Brendan Fobel helps ice some of the 10,000 cupcakes made for the 1982 Canada Day celebrations. Nutana Bakery was started in 1951 by Ferdinand Fred Fobel. He would run the bakery until 1973 when sons Ed and Vera Fobel took over. The bakery remained a family business until 2009. We hope you enjoyed our virtual recreation of Saskatoon Slice. The original show was held from February 10th to March 17th, 2016, and curated by Ron Jeremko with the assistance of Local History staff. We invite you to visit Local History the next time you are at the Francis Morrison Central Library.